Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and today I'm here with a fall makeup tutorial for you guys. It's with gold and purple, a lot of plum, and I'm also rocking a dark purplish uh, plum vampy lip. So I thought it was a really cool look to go ahead and recreate for you guys for the first fall look of 2013. And um, yeah, it's very neutral face, but you have a lot on the eyes and a very vampy lip. Yeah, so I'm going to do a close up so you guys can see the makeup and then I'll go ahead um, into the tutorial. So this is the eye look and the lip. So yeah, if you guys want to see me recreate this look, then stay tuned. As usual, we're going to prime our eyelids. This is a must if you have those sweaty eyelids like myself and your eyeshadow disappears throughout the day, you need to apply an eyeshadow base or primer. And I am using NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone. Using Blame It On Midnight eyeshadow by NYX, this is like my favorite eyeshadow. I'm going to pop this bad boy right into my crease. It's going to act as my transition color. And I'm using a blending brush. Um, it's similar to my MAC 217 brush. I got it at IMAX, but it's not the 217. But it still gets the job done, just like the 217. <laughs> and then following behind that, I'm going to use my Dance the Tides eyeshadow, which is a reddish brown. Um, this is just going to add a little bit of depth to the eyeshadow look. I'm popping this right into the outer V of the eye and blending it into the crease. Now to add some color to the look, I'm taking my 28 Smoky Eye palette and this pretty maroon purplish color. I'm going to add a light wash of that by using my 224 Taper Blending Brush by MAC. And I'm just popping this into the crease and into the outer V as well. I'm going to focus and concentrate more of the color into the outer V. So now I want to focus the color just in the outer V area. So I'm going to use my tightly packed taper brush and I'm going to go back into that purplish maroon color and just pack the color in the outer V area. And as you see, it's really dark in the outer V and it kind of transitions into a light wash of the purple. And I'm just kind of diffusing the color by using the 224 brush. So going into my Naked 2 palette, there's this really pretty gold that I love. It's called Chopper. Or if you don't have it and if you have the BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette, you can use a really pretty gold. Um, it's on the second row. It's a little bit more golden than what I'm using, but this is a great alternate. And I'm just going to use my Sonia Kai Shook Small Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to pack Chopper all over my eyelid. And I'm just going to stop right where the purple starts. And you just want to blend the two colors together that way there's really no stop and start point. So as you see I'm just going back into um, the crease area. I did put a little bit more purple and I'm just kind of blending the colors together. Staying in the BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette, I absolutely love this palette by the way and I know I'm using colors from all over the place but just bear with me. <laughs> I'm taking the taper brush and I'm just popping that color into the outer V and halfway into the crease and this is just adding depth to the eye look. It's really deepening the, the eye look overall. And then you can go in with the 224 taper blending brush or whatever blending brush you have and just blend all of the colors together. And as you can see, it's just transitioning just so smoothly. And then to make the eye look a little bit more sultry, I'm just going to take that maroon purplish color from the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye Palette and I'm going to sweep that along my lower lash line. And then on the outer end of my lower lash line, I'm going to take that really pretty brownish purplish color from the Day and Night Palette and just, you know, kind of deepen out that look. And then going back into my Naked 2 palette, I'm going to take some of that chopper gold and place it on the inner portion of my lower lash line. And then you can just go in and wipe away any fallout or any mistakes that you don't like, any imperfections. Next, I'm lining my top lash line and I'm using NYX Gel Liner, which I'm just discovering how much I really love it because it's so creamy and the black is so intense. And then I'm just going to line my lower waterline with a NYX Coal Eyeliner Pencil. Now add some mascara to those lashes girlfriend. You want them to look very luscious and long. If you don't want to wear false eyelashes, you can do either or. Whatever you prefer. It's your choice. It's your prerogative. <laughs> 
So on a clean moisturized face, I'm going to use Milk of Magnesia from CVS as my primer. Now I know this might sound crazy because it's a laxative, but it does help with the oiliness. I don't use it every day, but it does control the oil whenever I do decide to use it. So I apply it to my T-zone area and underneath my eyes. For the foundation, I'm using my BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation and as you can see by the bottle, I absolutely love it. I use it every single day because it blends in with my skin, it matches me perfectly and it doesn't oxidize. And I use my uh, F80 Sigma Flat Top Brush to apply this foundation and I use Circular Motions because it gives it more of an airbrush look. So because the eyes and lips will be a lot in this makeup look, I want to keep my cheeks very neutral. So I'm going to use my Copper Blush by NYX and it just gives it more of like that shimmery, dewy look on the cheeks but it doesn't add much color so I absolutely love it. And then I'm just going to add a highlight um, right above the highest points of my cheeks and I'm using Candlelight by Too Faced Cosmetics. And then you can contour if you want. I like to contour just to kind of add some color back into my face. So I'm using my CoverGirl bronzer powder. And I'm just going to contour the hollow areas of my cheeks as well as the perimeter of my like forehead and temples. Okay, so here's my secret to a bomb fall lip. You need to invest into Night Moth by MAC. It is the perfect lip pencil. I pair it with every lip color, reds, burgundies, purples, blacks, like it, it, it's amazing. So I'm using it right now in this video, as you can see, I'm lining my lips and I'm just going to gently shade the, the outer portions of the lips just to kind of add some depth before I apply my lipstick. And to finish off this fall lip, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Project Runways lipstick. I absolutely love it. It's 485, charming cockatoo's pout, and it's just the perfect fall lip, especially when you pair it with Night Moth. Or you can do Cyber and Night Moth if you're a MAC addict, but this is just a great alternative for those who are looking for something that's more pocket friendly, you know? So you have your inexpensive fall lip. So that is it for the makeup look. Be sure to thumbs up this video so you can share it with your friends. Feel free to share it across your social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media platforms you guys have because the more that you share, the more people will see the makeup looks and like the video. And that way I know that my videos are a lot helpful for you guys and that kind of motivates me a little bit more to recreate as many looks as possible for you guys because I know that my videos are beneficial and they're helping you. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, rate and subscribe.